Hello everyone and welcome to the final race in the round of 8 here, our 200 subscriber special season where Denny Hamlin starts on pole and is already off to the early lead here at the Martinsville Speedway. <coughs> Joey Logano is second, Ross Chastain is third, Tyler Reddick is fourth, and Eric Almirola is fighting Kyle Busch for fifth. So Denny Hamlin leads the opening lap here at Martinsville, where of course your other championship contenders, your top running one right now is Kyle Busch in sixth place, who needs to most likely win to get into the championship four in his final year with Joe Gibbs Racing the 18. Then Kevin Harvick there in the four. Above right now on points, he's looking pretty good. Blaney already got the win. He's already through the championship four. Chase Elliott looks very solid on points as well. Just no mistakes, no new winner. Then there's the 19 of Martin Truex battling Christopher Bell. Truex needs a win. Bell pretty good on points. Then way back behind them is Justin Haley, who is struggling mightily with Austin Sidrick. Both need to win as well because they are down severely on points. Try to make it to the championship four. As they go through the field there with your championship four drivers, or uh, round of eight drivers trying to get to the championship four, but Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin fight for the lead. Joey Logano is now clear of Denny Hamlin, as Joey Logano will come down the front straight away, and Joey Logano will lead the first couple of laps here. Now we move on to the last lap of stage one here in Martinsville on lap 45 is Denny Hamlin, who's gone back around Joey Logano. As they have tried to navigate through lap traffic here. As they go through three and four for the final time here in stage one. Denny Hamlin will win stage one of Martinsville. Followed by Logano, Larson, Chastain, Almarola, Bell, Byron, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, and Kevin Harvick, your top ten. As now Joy Logano leads here on lap 75. A little bit later in stage two. Trying to keep Eric Elroll lap down and stay ahead of the four of Kevin Harvick as they er, go through the corner right now. Legano down the front stretch. Legano continues to lead. Kevin Harvick behind him in second, looking to find his way in the championship four. Larson has gone by Denny Hamlin and Brad Keselowski trying to get some positions as well there. Ross Chastain up in the mix. But it's Joy Legano currently leading the way here at the Martinsville Speedway. Trying to get his second win of the season. Of course, he won when he's not playoff eligible in that first round of the playoffs at the Darlington Raceway, I believe. As you see, there's the 11. There's a the one chance. There's 18 of Kyle Busch behind him, battling the 20 of Christopher Bell. Both of them fighting for their playoff life. You see all the damage on the 18 of Kyle Busch. He's already one lap down. That is very problematic for Kyle Busch, of course, already nearly being a lot, he already is a lap down. That could pretty much be the end of his championship hopes. As uh, so you see by the Oh, trouble in the back. Daniel Suarez in the outside wall with Corey LaJoy. And we are under caution for our first crash of the night here in Martinsville. The 99 and the 7 get together and crash coming out of turn 2 as Suarez gets hooked into the outside wall. Heavy contact there. Corey LaJoy nowhere to go as well. Ryan Blaney got a little bit of damage in that, who of course we know is already safe with his win in the Holiday Classic to get into the Championship 4. Blaney makes Byron and Reddick make contact as Suarez and LaJoy bang into that outside wall. Which brings out the caution, so... Now everyone race back to the line, we see the 51 of Cody Ware back there going nearly into the pit lane. As it is still currently Joy Logano leading the way here in Martinsville. Now we move on to lap 83. Kyle Larson now in the lead, followed by Hamlin, Chastain, Bell, and Blaney, the top five. When we focus on the lap car, the 77 of Landon Castle, who has some damage. Is, well, not really, but it's just slow because he's a Spire Motorsports entry and is just trying to hang on here. To, but you can see how far off the pace the 77 is compared to the cars like the 20 and the 1. Holding up a lot of guys, this could possibly lead to an incident here with Austin Dillon. Maybe others, if they don't keep it together. But, they go into turn 3 and 4. Landing Castle continues to hold on for now. As we look towards the front, I believe it is still up there. Larson still leading this race, indeed. There's Ty Gibbs, he's at the 31. Justin Haley also being stacked up, who's just had a miserable round of 8 after his breakthrough win in the round of 12. 
not doing anything relevant whatsoever to try to get himself into the championship four. There's a 19 at Truex, who's had a very sound list. Oh, contact to 77 into the three, and there they go. They're crashing into the wall. Stenhouse, Dylan, Castle, LaJoy piles in, and we are under caution once again. As right there off the 19, the 77 made contact with them, got loose down the track into Austin Dillon and around they went and nowhere for the 47 to Stenhouse to go as he just got destroyed after all that contact. They all went around, Dillon on the curb, bang, Stenhouse into the wall, Castle's damage, LaJoy collects even more damage after that initial wreck he was involved in with Daniel Suarez. Alright now we see Larson continues to lead the way with Denny Hamlin in second. Now we move on to... Lap 143. This is with 8 to go in this race after a late caution. We have this late restart. It is Larson. Denny Hamlin has now gone around Kyle Larson for the lead. We look at the 77 of Landon Castle continuing to go slow here. Racing Ty Dillon and Bubba Walls. Three wide. That usually does not work, boys. Here, especially here at Martinsville. Oh, there goes Ty Dillon. Kind of Bubba Walls is there crashing. Ty Dillon on the inside wall. And the caution is out. And the question is will this be the last caution of the race? Just like in the spring race earlier this year, Mars. So Kevin Harvick won it under caution. But Denny Hamlin looks like he'll lead Kyle Larson back to the line here. And if the race does end under yellow, it looks like Denny Hamlin would be declared your winner unless something drastic happens. And all of a sudden, Kyle Larson is in the lead as he comes to the white flag and yellow flags to end this race here. Larson will be coming back to the yellow and checkered flags. As Denny Hamlin, for some reason, had a tire... It had a tire go on him, and he is out of the race under those caution laps. And really, a shocking development. The one of the dominant cars of the night, Denny Hamlin, is going to be out. And once again, Lady Luck has absolutely robbed Denny Hamlin. And with Kyle Larson coming through to win this race, it means the championship four entering this race will most likely stay the same as Kyle Larson. Makes his way down the front stretch, and Kyle Larson, another win as Larson wins at Martinsville. His fourth win on the season. Your runner-up will be William Byron. Christopher Bell will bring home third. He will advance the championship four. Truex will be fourth. He will be out. Chase Elliott will be fifth. He will advance the championship four. And then in sixth place, you will have Ross Chastain. Seventh place, Tyler Reddick. Eighth place, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch will be eliminated. Eric Jones ninth and Brad Keselowski rounds their top 10 as Kyle Larson wins the Xfinity 500 at Martinsville and has won two of the races here in the round of 8 but unfortunately not eligible in the playoffs. Just got out in the round of 12 or else he'd be in the championship 4 in the homestead one of his best tracks he could possibly be the championship favorite but unfortunately not so he wins and the championship 4 pretty much decided. Now we see the final standings, of course, Christopher Bell advances by 37 points, Chase Elliott by 23 points, and Kevin Harvick advances by 17 points over Martin Truex, and of course, Ryan Blaney had that win. So Ryan Blaney, Christopher Bell, Chase Elliott, and Kevin Harvick will be your championship four heading to Homestead next week. Then Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Busch, Justin Haley, and Austin Sindrick have been eliminated from the playoffs. Truex had that Truex Kyle Busch each one time winners. Justin Haley and Cindric both won races in the round of 12 to have three win seasons really strong all year, but couldn't quite do it in the round of eight, and they will be going home. But you'll see, of course, Blaney, Bell, Elliott, and Harvick will be fighting for the championship as you see the updated playoff grid for all 16 original playoff drivers here as we head into the championship at Homestead. Elliott, Bell, Blaney, and Harvick will be doing it out in Homestead for the title. So until that, I hope you all have a good one.